Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob and welcome to my channel. This is your first time here, a warm welcome and uh, please do uh, consider subscribing and hitting the bell. I really appreciate that and it really helps my channel. Um, I'm trying to build my channel so yes, <laughs> every little bit helps. Thanks so much guys for all your faithful guys out there um, watching my videos, I really appreciate Good. So in this series, guys, we are making a map. The map is called Tiny. <laughs> and as you can see on screen, um, I've just made a little, um, what do you call it, an image. Um, and this is the image that you see when you open the map. So this is your map map image. Um, and um, today's uh, video is all about making the, the image, the icon for the for the small map icon uh, when you in when you're in the um, in the mods directory looking for mods or if you in the uh, um, uh, in in the mods directory where you select the type of mods you want before you enter the game that little icons there we're going to choose that icon as well as having a look at the the pda now the pda itself guys uh, i've made a whole video on that so i would suggest if you're interested in looking at the pda i'm not going to redo it in this series because it's already in the map making uh, um, playlist <laughs> you just go to the one that says uh, um, making a pda or something of the kind um, on my channel you'll find under my videos there's playlists so go to playlists and uh, just select map making open that and in there you'll have this whole series as well as the other um, things concerning map making good great so I think uh, while we're busy there I'm going to show you how to um, do these little uh, how, do, how, how, how I do them in any way so it's really simple i just go into the game itself open the map in the game and i find scenery that and take snapshots or screenshots of the sceneries i like for instance like this one will also make a nice um what do you call it uh, um, map map uh, um, directory or map photo or whatever you want to call that thing good this one's also nice so i've just taken a few of them obviously in game and then uh, it's just screenshots that I load. I like this one. I think this is the one I used. Um, if I look at Tony, this is the one I used eventually. All right. So, so, so the, the next step um, is this one. The, I think it's called the Windows Texture Viewer or something of the kind. Um, you can download that from NVIDIA. I will put a link in, in, in the description for that. However, I think I've already also done that in the PDA making video, but in this video I'll add it as well. So this is a nifty little program which you can um, drop your, um, your your game files and DDS files in, because all the images or most of the images in the game files um, is um, DDSs. Right, so the map preview .dds and the icon DDS, you can find those two in your map directory it might not be in the same place as mine but just find them that's the two that we're going to work with now so the map preview.dds i've already put this in um, it it is obviously a photo so i'm going to drag it and just drop it on the open with windows texture viewer and th there you go now the the important things you need to notice about it is the format is a dxt1 now you do that with your original first in your map directory, the original ones. So you want to know what to originally, so you can customize your photo accordingly. And then the size, it's a 2048 by 1080, and it's got map, map maps. So remember that, the three things that you have to uh, remember. Okay, so now, so now you open your um, your map after the, the photo that you've taken. I'm going to just do it like this. Go into the photos for tiny. There it is. And I'm going to take this one. It's a JPEG. Uh, the screenshots are normally in PNG format. So I, I just convert them or save them as JPEGs. Because uh, um, they're a bit, bit smaller and more compressed in the JPEG format. But you can do it the same uh, with, the, uh, with the, uh, um, the other format. The PNGs doesn't matter. All right. Good. So the next step. 
we now know that it's a, a DXT1 when we save it, as well as MITMAPS, as well as 2048 by 1080. All right, so first thing is we want to modify the image. So we go image. Oh, uh, the program I use here is Paint.net. I will put a, uh, a link for Paint.net as well. It's a free program that you can download, and it's just a photo um, editing program, and it's got export to DDS, which is very important, obviously, for, for, for the Giants editor. Great. So what we're going to do is we're going to go image and then resize. You resize it, and you type your value in there. It's 2048 by 1080. All right, so this one is already done that way. Uh, I know it's 1920 by 1080, this one. So uh, 2048, 2048 by 1080 is what we want. You go say OK. And voila, it is now the correct size. And as simple as that. And now you can add your text. You can write things on the, on the image. Whatever you want, put your farm name on there or your map name. And made by Farmer Bob is what I've done. And that's as simple as adding with text. That's normal stuff that you should know how to do. I just select text in this program and you click somewhere on the map and you change the font and the size and the color. You select here on this program. And that's the way you do it. So I'm not going to do it now because I've already got what I want. And then you click on File, Save As. And then select your directory for your map. Uh, which mine will be on the desktop tiny there it is and then change the save as type obviously to DDS so then they will pop up the icon and the, um, and the map preview you select the one that you're busy working with now remember this will be the original on yours so you're going to overwrite the original with this photo that you've manipulated and you click save and you say you replace it you go say yes and then here, yeah, make sure you've got DXT1 selected. There's a lot of options, but select the BC1 DXT1. Make sure mid maps is selected and super sampling is on. And you click OK and voila, you've got your um, picture exported and overwritten. I'm going to not save this because I don't want to mess it up now for now. And then obviously our next, uh, I've already got that open here, yeah, uh, tiny. So that one then, you can open that then after you've overwritten it, and it will look like so. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. I've, I've made mine the original. I've taken off the Biofarmer Bob because my mod desk is loading in already Biofarmer Bob, you know. So I don't want to have it twice on the screen. It looks a bit silly. <laughs> okay. But you can change it the way you want it and make it up and uh, go along with that. Now you're going to follow exactly the same procedures for the icon file. You drop the icon file in there, your original one from the map, and you get the spec for it. It's 2048 by 2048 DXT1. Now the icon files doesn't have lots of details. This one does for some reason, but uh, I've seen maps with 256 by 256 on size, which is more or 512 by 512 it's a square block the icons i would suppose that those are more correct for an icon because this is very high uh, um, resolution for an icon file but i've left it because the original was like that and uh, i didn't want to fiddle with that but make a note dxt1 size of it and you follow the same drill with your icon file go to go to your screenshots um, that you've taken select one for the icon and do the same with it and then save it exactly the same as we've done, just done on the on the um, the map map uh, um, map file sorry that is not what i'm looking for i'm looking for tiny that has disappeared now my directory there it is okay so so that is those two covered so uh, and, and then when you enter into your game you will find um, that your map preview has changed as well as your little icon for your map you can look in your mods folder there will be an icon for your map that is also updated to to the latest now the third one obviously is the pda that everyone has been uh, wondering about and like i said um, there is already a total video only for the pda so have a look at that i'm gonna 
I don't have to put a link in there because because it's in the same uh, video playlist under my videos and it's not too far back um, but you will quickly see it there's not a lot of videos I think this is video 14 um, on the on the video list for the map making great and then uh, lastly I just want to show you quick um, how far we are with um, with uh, um, with Tiny's creation I'm just going to open that in the editor. Great, good stuff. Oh, good. All right, so here we are in the map. Um, I just want to give you a rough update of what what basically I've done on the off-screen work. Um, as you can see, I've added some some details to the garage, some props and things, some lighting. Now, what what I'm doing with the lighting? A good tip, guys. Uh, when you select your light that you want to import over the whole map, do your first one, import it. Um, what I've basically done is I've just gone, gone for the, um, it's a package called uh, Prefab, uh, the Prefabs. And then you download that, um, was it now, oh, it is here by Dynamic Other, I think Other 88. Um, let's just have a quick browse here. You'll find it here. Um, I'm just gonna get it. It's a whole package of um, props. It's not called props, but it's called something else. Um, here's crash barriers and things. Um, if, I'm not gonna put it into this map because uh, I don't think it needs it. It's more like a farm type map, this. But if you're in a city or that type of thing, I think it will be good. Um, where is the props now? Have I missed it? Maybe I've scrolled one too many somewhere. Yeah, I've missed it somewhere. Let me just go back. It was here somewhere. Come on, come on. There it no, here it is, the props. The deco pack. Small, 2.69 megabytes. And it gives you a ton of stuff, guys, like wood piles. All these props that you see here uh, is in that pack. Um, dustbins. Uh, fuel tanks, gas tanks, these little sandboxes, um, chairs and and uh, benches and um, piles of stuff like that and this little thing. Uh, even this bus stop is in there, this electrical box is in there. A lot of things, even the street light is in there, you know. So um, a lot of stuff in that deco pack. So yeah, go for it, download it off directly in your editor and just uh, open it up. And there you are. Um, but the tip I wanted to give you is take your take the one light that there is, um, set it up, and go straight into your aluminum, um, into your spotlight. But now I just need to get my um, attributes back. You open the attributes as well as the user attributes. Um, that's the two I normally have open just to set up everything I want to set up. Uh, you select the spotlight and then obviously at the light what I normally do um, the first thing at the transform sorry first is the transform I set the clip distance because it's normally like 80 or so uh, I normally do that at minimum 300 meters visibility that you can see your um, sorry the street light pole you must be in that transform for the whole thing that I make 500 okay and then at the spotlight uh, you can make 300 and then at the light itself you want to set um, the type you can play around with the type the spot is normally uh, the best one for down lights and that for street lights and then the colors you can play around the colors very very handy to play around with the colors and the cone angle I normally set between 120 and 140 um, just don't go too high because they start flickering if you go too high on that. Now the cone angle is a is is a, um, what what uh, um, what makes the radius of the actual light at the bottom. You know how far it actually stretches. And then the last thing obviously is your range. How far in meters do you want the range to go uh, of the light? So that you can also adjust. Don't make it obviously too high. Um, also not too low otherwise you have a, a, a small range of light um, what I normally do just to test it is you can go into the 
the street light uh, into the spotlight and then you set visibility of of that particular one let me just go f on it because then we just get to the actual light that i've selected because otherwise you won't see it come a bit closer there you go you can roughly see the um, the outline of the light if i switch it on and off here and there you go that's basically give you to, just to give you a tip of what it will look like obviously at night it will look much better but just to give you a rough idea of uh, <laughs> what it will be oh you mustn't make the whole light invisible sorry guys um, I just want to go in there now switch the light visibility that's what we want switch that on and off all right so obviously you want to leave it invisible um, the actual the actual light because um, the game automatically as soon as it gets dark will switch your light on for you automatically so yeah don't just leave that off if you find in your map if you test it and you see your lights is not coming on then something is wrong with the, the setup of your light um, then you can come and just make that visible um, that light visible visibility all right but anyways guys yeah so that is where, where, where I am currently with the offline work I've added all the little props and things you know that stand around and the lighting and power boxes and water puddles all over the map and I've added some, a lot more rocks in the in the river you know more just made it a bit more um, sort of realistic you know oh, well, I hope so <laughs> anyways guys um, yeah it's been awesome man um, just give you a quick update where we are and thank you so much for joining and watching. Uh, please consider, obviously, uh, subscribing. If you haven't, please share the video with your friends and family and, and everyone you know. Um, and help me uh, grow my channel. I really appreciate it, guys. And yes, this is Farmer Bob. And thank you so much. You've been awesome. We'll see you next time. Take care, man.